Okay, so what are we doing out here today? You might be asking yourself, what the hell? But you've probably seen the video title, so you probably know. We're about to ask random strangers to go out for dinner with us. Now, what's our approach? It's pretty simple. We'll go up to random strangers, ask them if they speak English first, because we are in Albania. Uh, most people don't, but let's see. Some people do, so yeah, we'll try to find people that are walking alone. Uh, it's our first video. The budget's not that high yet, so let's let's find people that are walking alone, preferably. And yeah, the goal is to meet them, talk to them, ask them a few questions, and then surprise them with a little dinner or a lunch in this case, in their favorite restaurant around here. So follow us on this journey, trying to meet people, approach people, and fail continuously over and over again. And fail we did, again and again and again. It was, it was quite sad, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it was a bit frustrating. We were just uh, walking around asking people and everyone was like, no, no, no thanks, no no camera, no this, no that, okay. Here's a little compilation, uh, blurred out their faces because obviously, you know, they didn't agree to be filmed, so I'm not just going to put them up like that. But yeah, in the end, after a bit of looking around about like another 20, 30 minutes, we finally managed to find someone who was ready to answer some of our questions. This wonderful and sweet lady called Fatima. Well, her English wasn't that great. It was really good for an Albanian lady, especially at that age. But of course, uh, I'll, I'll be using some subtitles to uh, make it a bit more understandable, hopefully. I hope I'll manage to do this properly, honestly. I'm not sure I will, but yeah, I hope you'll understand what's happening. Hello? Do you speak English? Yes? We're filming a little video project. Are you okay being filmed? And asked a few questions. What kind of questions? About uh, connection? About uh -huh. kindness? Uh -huh. About people? Uh -huh. Yeah, is that okay? Okay. Great. Well then, please come over here. First of all, uh, what's your name? It's uh, Fato. Uh, sorry, can you prepare? Can you prepare? I, uh, Fato. 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 Fatma. Okay, Fatma. I'm Elio, nice to meet you. And so we start asking questions to the lovely Fatima. This woman was such a sweet lady. Oh my God, honestly, you'll see it soon. <laughs> if you are trying to meet new people, yes. how do you do that? For uh, salute, yes. for uh, uh, tell for what uh, help, help for uh, maybe for uh, where is, where going, where uh, do. Maybe you want uh, coffee, maybe something. Okay, so you you go to people on the streets and you ask them that? Or where do you go? What do you... We're going people. Maybe help <laughs> for here, maybe help yeah. for house, maybe help for where going. That's really nice of you. And uh, the second question is, what does kindness mean to you? Now, I'm pretty sure I lost her at that question. Uh, maybe she didn't understand what kindness means. But uh, I'll roll the clip anyways. Good. Kindness. Ah, like, yes. What does it mean for you? Who is kind? All. No problem for kind. Like all people? Yes. No problem. Okay. No problem. And uh, the final question is, what is your favorite restaurant in Vlora? It's Vlora. It's all restaurant. For, for, for meat. Eat meat. <laughs> all meat. Only meat. But what is your favorite? For you or for me? For you. For me, it's meat. Okay. Uh, how would you feel if we invite you for lunch at a restaurant right now? No. No? I understand good. Do you want to come to a restaurant with us? You? For lunch? Yeah, with us. We pay. No pay you. No. Hey. No, 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 no. No? No pay you. No pay you. Well, yeah, we do. That's yeah. the goal. Come on. Where you want for going? Want pizza? Where you, you? want? Yeah, yeah, you want pizza, want meat, what you like you. Meat, you said meat is great? I'll yes. try the meat, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No, you. No pay you. No. Yeah, yeah, we will. <laughs> Thank you very much. There so, it is. Yeah, you want to go for lunch now? Yes, no problem. Let's go. Great. <laughs> Come, all right. So He's adorable. <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy I met her like that, like that, and yeah, you will probably already know who the other people are that we meet. I'm editing this on the first day, but yeah, this is great. <laughs> I'm so happy I met her. Oh, so again, I'm Elio. Nice to meet you one more time. This is Michael over here with the camera. Hi, how Hi. are you? Nice to meet you. 
Uh, it's okay that it's filmed, right? Right. Great. I well, then... want for uh, eat uh, something sweet here. Any where you like most? Come. Okay. Come okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, no, yeah. no, 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 it's only a little bit sweet. Okay. Hey, me pay, you know you. No, 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 no. That's the whole goal of the project. No. No. We go, we meet new people, and we invite them for lunch. For me, no problem. Me, a little bit, not too much good for English. That's okay. Me, uh, me, uh, me have uh, two boys, mm -hmm. and one boy before is paraglide and died Dubai. And uh, me boy have a wife, Filipinese, uh -huh. and uh, no, no speak Albania. Yeah, yeah. And me going for me salt. It's uh, seven, eight now, and uh, me no, no teach school, only going yeah. uh, like out and talking bit. and trying. Yes, a little yeah. bit, not too much. Yeah, yeah, little, I understand. Only for talking, yeah. only for understanding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, so I was living in Belarus for two years, uh, and also I didn't speak Russian. Yeah, yes. I went out, I talk, and you learn a bit the, like that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But yeah, you're doing really well. It's rare to meet people at this age that are still trying to learn new languages. So I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. And so we went for some coffee. We, she had some ice cream, we had some coffee, we had a good talk. Uh, we have a little bit of footage from it, and it's playing in the background here, I think. But uh, we didn't record too much. I have a lot of uh, microphone footage. It's just that filming was a bit uh, inconvenient in that place, and so I mean, look at this footage. She was talking about herself, about her family, and we decided to have a dinner together at my place on the next day, which, I mean, for me right now is tomorrow, and then we will have a dinner at her place afterwards. And so I will be filming some of that too and adding it in here too, so yeah, you will probably like... Uh, around the end of the video or now be seeing the dinner <laughs> i hope <laughs> if things go well and yeah uh, we'll have some more footage about her talking about herself and her family but yeah she, it's great i am very happy i met her as i said such a lovely woman unfortunately we could not go for lunch together she suggested to have just some um, coffee or something sweet and so after meeting her and after she had to go home again, we decided to keep looking for someone to have lunch with. And uh, it happened that uh, it was already getting a bit later. It was around 1.30 or something. Most people were having lunch at that moment. Not many people were outside. And we tried to change locations. We explored the city a bit more, but unfortunately we could not find anyone. And so we decided to go to a restaurant, so just us two. Uh, Michael and me. Michael is the cameraman. One very big thank you to Michael again for, uh, well, using his camera and just filming in general. Honestly, I, I'm really glad he did because I can't do this alone. And yeah, so here you'll see the restaurant. It was a small local shop at the, like at a side road close to the sea. Really good food, very good seafood. And uh, there was this one stray dog that was trying to get in but was just waiting outside because he knew he'd get shouted at by the owner or something. And he was just looking at us eat and it was so cute. And so when we were done and we paid the bill, Michael really wanted to feed him the bone of his uh, pork chop that he had. And so this is the footage you see now. I love it. It's so cute, man. I, I love dogs. I love animals. And this is just the best. <laughs> okay, great. We are back here for day two. Uh, yesterday wasn't... The most successful, it wasn't the worst either. We met some great people. So let's see what we can do today. Uh, on this square, not too many people are around so far, but there will be some and we will invite them for a great lunch. And so day two began. The last day before, while going home, we met a street musician. We don't have any footage of meeting him the first time, but he seemed like a really cool guy. And we met him again on this day before actually reaching the filming destination. And you will see more of him very soon. But for now, uh, enjoy our failed attempts at approaching people. No. When all hope seemed lost, we finally got our questions answered. Meet Moses. Oh, 
Oh, great. Okay, so we're recording. First of all, what's your name? My name is Moses. Moses? Where are you from? From Switzerland. Oh, from Switzerland. We met another Swiss guy earlier. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, playing yeah. music. Yeah, exactly. That's my friend, actually. <laughs> Well then, uh, we actually talked to him already, so we'll yeah. talk to you about this as well. First of all, how do you meet new people? Uh, normally I go to drink beers in bar and then I meet a lot of people. Yeah, yeah that usually works, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just trying to be nice and smiling and the people, they come to me. Well then, the second question would be, what does kindness mean for you? Well, I think it's about uh, altruism. Altruism, yeah. Yeah, and just uh, not be bad with people. Yes. Just trying to think about the others first. Maybe. Well, then uh, the last question: What is your favorite restaurant around here? Around here? Yeah. Telilo. How would you feel if we invite you for lunch there, like in ten minutes, with your friend as well? Uh, well, I would be really happy. The thing is that I have some souvlaki in my bag right now. Some what? Some souvlaki. Oh. <laughs> Well, you can nice, keep that yeah. for later, you know, microwave it, it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice, really nice for you, but yeah, I want to go to the hostel. Okay. I'm doing volunteering in the hostel and I have to come back. Oh, okay, okay, well, it was great meeting yeah. you. Thanks Thank very you. much. What's your name? Elio. Elio, okay. yeah. nice to meet you. Where are you from? Many places, Many but places. Uh, Luxembourg, Italy. Luxembourg, Italy, okay. Pacere di Conosco. Pacere, see you. <laughs> see you, guys. See you, yeah, have a good day. Yeah, so that didn't work out, unfortunately. But he was nice enough to answer our questions. Great guy. I hope I'll see him again sometime soon. And, well, we, were, we, we felt a bit defeated. We didn't know what to do next. But we know we still had our great, beloved street musician ready to help us out. Okay, great. So, hello, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Elio. What's your name? My name is Philip. And so our adventure with Philip began. Now, I, I didn't know how to act too much, I'll be honest with you. Uh, he knew what it was about. We talked to him about this a little bit beforehand. And he knew we would go out for lunch afterwards because we discussed that initially. Not, not exactly like thinking that this would be how it ends. <laughs> but yeah enjoy watching and i hope you learn a lot or something i don't know uh, meet philip philip's a great guy <laughs> how do you go about meeting new people oh that's a great question actually and i think it's a point in my life which i'm really into um, so i'm a really shy person i think i have to figure out some things in my life still <laughs> everyone <laughs> on, does on, on that, everyone on that does. level and now at the moment I found a really gorgeous way like to make music in the streets and that's an easy way to uh, get in contact with people. It helps me also with my shyness. <laughs> so like it's, it's kind of I exploring myself in a way nobody has to react but they can react. So that's a beautiful way for me. Yeah, dude, going on the streets playing music that's really brave already man. Hey, thank you. Like, thank I wouldn't say you're shy. That, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah the last well, yeah, the second question is, um, what do you think, well, what is kindness for you? What does it mean for you? Kindness? Yeah. Oh. I think, first of all, kindness is if you are able to listen. If you are, yeah, if you can watch with your eyes or watch with your heart. And if you are able to listen to people and try to understand them else what's coming after that yeah, I think that's the start for, for kindness I think yeah okay great thank you okay. and now the final question what's your favorite restaurant in Blora uh, actually I've been already three times in Delilo it's a really uh, nice um, local uh, restaurant with a lovely family there so I love it well great how do you feel if we invite you to go eat there right now 
Hey, I think that's also a way of kindness. I, it would be great. I, will, I would say thank you and I will follow you. Oh, great. Well then, let's go. <laughs> hey, thank you. And so we went to the restaurant. Now, unfortunately, the filming stopped after about 20 minutes. I don't know why. I don't even think of it. Uh, yeah, it's about 20 minutes. Yeah, I have no idea why that happened. Um, I wish I knew. We didn't even have our food yet when the filming stopped, so I, I'm not going to be able to show it to you. Just uh, take my word, it was it was very good. It was very good. Uh, and I compiled some of the footage that we have into something watchable. I hope you enjoy. Hey. Cheers, man. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And thanks for the invitation. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I'm a lucky guy today. So are we. Great. So where in Switzerland do you live? Uh, next to Zurich. Okay. A uh, little town called Winterthur. Okay. Yeah. But it's uh, like 20, mi 20 miles far from uh, Zurich. Mm -hmm. And actually it's the sixth biggest city in Switzerland, but it's really in the shadow of Zurich, so yeah. nobody knows it. Is there anything that it's famous for, if you were to talk about it? I think what we have is like, um, we have two or three, oh, on one side we have a really famous um, photo museum. That's really gorgeous. They're doing a really great job. Mm -hmm. But then we have um, a nice short film festival. That's also a nice thing. And then also a nice music festival. On the level of festivals and cultural stuff, they're doing a lot. It's really nice. But I don't have, I don't, otherwise, it's like you have these churches and yeah, this well, thing to see what, what <laughs> yeah. you can see everywhere. More or less. Yeah. Man, Switzerland is beautiful, man. I love the mountains everywhere. You know, No matter where you are, it's like you're looking at a postcard, you know? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. For the recording now, can you repeat why you came to Albania? Yeah, actually, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you the whole story. It's well, just go one, on. one, one thing just to repeat for the record now. Yeah, <laughs> it's the whole thing with uh, with the migration backgrounds in Switzerland that we have a lot of uh, people, ethnic Albanics, um, especially from Kosovo, and Macedonia. And I was uh, working as a teacher, and now I want to see how, where they, where they are coming from. And also, like I had my teenage years in the '90s, where this flu was from immigration from the Balkans, also because yeah. of the war. Yeah, yeah. And I had a lot of, or it was kind of a strange situation back then. How, especially Swiss people. Or react, or yeah. how how the integration program was working was kind of strange. So I had a lot of strange situations fighting with this young kid, uh, in the same age, of course. But it was really like, yeah, we are Swiss and you are the Balkans. It was really strange. And, um, so I wanted to see it by myself and um, also to have like a bit, little bit this. The therapy for myself, the health process mm -hmm. to come over this shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah I Ever since I started it. traveling, my life has become so much better and so much richer. Yeah, I also think when you leave your bubble, mm -hmm. your structures, especially your your daily structures or your pictures you have, and, um, just uh, to find yourself. Uh, it sounds like a little bit uh, romanticized, but it's easier yeah, it to find is. yourself, your inner voice, I think. It's easier than when you are back at home, yeah. because you are that distracted with all these things you uh, grow up. Yeah, and I feel like if you're staying always like in your comfort zone, it's like a loop, like it repeats over and over again. And everything you have, like every little thought or every little this, it will just get stronger and stronger. And in the end, you will become very close-minded. You know, maybe you think at one point, oh, I don't like this person so much, you know? And then if you don't get out of your comfort zone and you have the same thing over and over, it becomes like, I hate this person and like, I hate everyone who's connected to this person. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, your mind just becomes like focused on what you have already. And it just wants to stay like that. And it doesn't want to change anymore. Yeah. I think that was the most there was one other reason for my travel last year with my bicycle. I'm really excited about to 
facing my fears. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really like, then I feel really alive. Um, or it's like, then you have, then you really can increase. <laughs> Even if it's like, often really uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, but to go in out of your comfort zone, yeah. it's such a lovely thing. Yeah. I agree. Well, that's, that's really honorable though, right? Like, I mean, a lot of people say, I'm afraid of heights, therefore I will never yeah. go anywhere tall, yeah. right? But to have a mindset that I know this about me, it's a fear of mine or it's a discomfort of mine, I'm going to go face it, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awkward, but I'm, I want to face it, man, and, and it's a different feeling, right? Yeah. I'm scared of heights, by the way. I, I love <laughs> doing things. I, I, I do things all the time up there, though, right? And it's uh, it's a fantastic feeling. There's no other feeling like it. So. <laughs> That's the same thing. Like since uh, six years, I'm a godfather, uh, the son of my best friends, actually. And since then, I had this, really this experience that I have a lot of more fears for people I love mm -hmm. than for myself. <coughs> Much stronger. Um, and to face my own fears, it helps me also to 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 have less of these fears. Just just as, as accept also accept things you can't control. Yeah. Right, right. It's gonna happen regardless. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is where the camera footage cuts out. I still have some microphone footage left, but I can't really use that alone. So, yeah, that's it. Hey, well, it's nice meeting you. Yeah, I'm well, so happy. Thanks for time. Yeah, you too. Uh, Maybe we'll meet again someday. Yeah. Maybe in Switzerland, who knows, you know? You never know. Yeah. Have a good trip. See you. Bye-bye. This morning, I got a text from Fatima saying that my husband broke her car. Uh, I, I do not have a husband, but I'm pretty sure what she meant is that her husband ended up somehow breaking the car and so she can't come over tonight for, for dinner. Now, I'm planning to finish this edit by the end of the night so on the same day as we filmed the second part here so unfortunately you will not be able to see us having dinner together yet but i'll definitely make that a future video or something because i am really looking forward to it so yeah i hope you had a wonderful day i hope you enjoyed this little video and goodbye enjoy the drone footage from vlora Oh, and uh, feel free to drop a comment on what we should do next, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>